In this video, we're going to discuss the different parameters and display settings for the surface that we just created. So to get to the different display settings and parameters for our surfaces, what we're going to go ahead and do is navigate over to the tool space in the prospector tab. We're going to drop down surfaces. We're going to go to EG and we're going to right click and select surface properties. Inside of the surface properties, we have the style settings for our surface. I'm going to go ahead and drop down our surface style and select contours 2 and 10 background. And then I'm going to select edit that surface style. Um, so inside of the surface style, we have information regarding what the name and the description and who created it is. This is not a display setting. This is just an informational tab that lets us identify our specific style. Moving on from there, we start dealing with what the different parameters and display settings for our surfaces are. So the first thing we come to is borders. Borders are um, just outlines for uh, specific regions of a surface, whether it be the exterior boundary or whether it be a interior boundary uh, for displaying or not displaying information within a surface. Moving on from there, we have contours and the contours are going to display specific elevation locations on a surface. Moving on into here, we can talk about what the different ranges is are for contours if we're going to do a contour range analysis. Otherwise, we can talk about the 3D geometry and whether or not we are going to flatten out that geometry or whether or not we're going to exaggerate it or if we're just going to use it based on the data that was put into the surface. Moving to the next, we can show how we're going to display a legend that's associated with those contours. Uh, then we can talk about contour intervals, which are basically how often you show these contours on your surface. Since this is a 2 and 10 contour style, we have our minor intervals set at 2 feet and our major intervals set at 10 feet. Moving into the next option, we have the contour depressions. If you have a depression in your surface and you choose true for display depression contours, then you can choose your tick mark intervals and tick mark lengths. Those ticks will indicate that there is a, a depression in the surface and there's no outlet for that, that depression on that surface. And then contour smoothing basically makes it so that the contours that are being displayed inside Civil 3D are not jagged, they're rather smoothed out. They don't necessarily represent a good indication of what the triangular lines are doing for our surface, but it does look nice for when you're going to print it out uh, onto a plan set. Moving on to the next tab, we have grids. So you can grid your surface and you can have a primary grid with an orientation of a specific direction and a secondary grid with an orientation of a different direction. Uh, usually they're within 90 degrees of each other. And then uh, what the intervals for those two grid types are. So you can have them be equal and have a square gridded network on your surface, or you can change the intervals at those uh, gridding sections. And so you can change how those grids are displayed inside of your surface. Moving on to the next is points, and this is how the data in your surface is being displayed if you choose to display it, what that point scale is going to be, what the point style is going to be. And then moving on to triangles, we're just talking about how we're going to display those triangles, whether or not they're going to use surface elevation, whether they're going to be flattened or they're going to be exaggerated. Most of the time when I'm dealing with surfaces, I'm always using the surface elevation rather than flattening or exaggerating. Uh, so moving on to watersheds, if you do a watershed analysis in Civil 3D, this is where you're going to choose how those watershed analysis are being displayed and what colors they're being displayed on. So what you have is you have the uh, generic parameters for your watersheds, and then you have the watershed specific display settings. So you have your boundary point watershed, boundary segment watershed, depression watersheds, flat area watersheds, multi-drain watersheds, and multi-drain notched watersheds. And then you have your display settings for your legend, what you want your surface to be displayed as, your point sizing, and then your 3D geometry, whether or not you want to use your surface elevation, exaggerate it, or flatten it. Moving on to analyses, there are analyses that you can perform as part of a surface in Civil 3D, and those are what are the directions of the faces of your surface, what are specific elevation ranges inside of Civil 3D, what the slopes 
are and what their percentages are and ranges of those slopes inside of Civil 3D, and then displaying arrows associated with those slopes. And so each of these has set parameters before you perform an analysis. So these areas are the, the set standards for when you do the analysis. And then once you go into the analysis tab, which we'll do later, uh, you can change these numbers, but this is what the base parameters are gonna be for those analyses. Moving on to display, this is where we kind of get in the meat and potatoes of how Civil 3D is actually showing this information and whether or not it is showing it. What we have are three different distinct view directions. You can have plan view, which is top down, model, which is three dimensional, and then section, which is cutting a cross section through it. Plan and model have the same display settings. They can be different from each other, but they are they contain the same components whereas section only has one component it's what your surface looks like when you cut a section through it so we're going to go through plan because it's the same as model and we're going to talk about the different parameters so you have surfaces that are built out of points and triangles so when you are dealing with your surfaces and you want to perform edits to them if you want to edit the points for a surface which we will do in a later video in order to be able to edit those points, you have to have points turned on and be visible. Same thing goes for triangles. If you want to edit your triangles, you have to have triangles turned on to be able to edit them. Uh, if you do not have them turned on and you select a surface and try and perform a point or a triangle edit, you'll get an error message that will say that you need to have them turned on and that you need to modify your surface style for the surface that you're trying to edit. Uh, moving on from there, we have the borders that we've discussed in the borders tab and whether or not they're visible and what color, line type, scale, line weight, and plot style they're going to be. Uh, moving down from there, we have our major and minor contours like we discussed in the contours tab and whether or not they're going to be displayed and how they're going to be displayed. We have our user contours, which is an, ana an analysis that can be performed. You can define a specific user contour and you can say, I want that specific elevation to be displayed as a contour and you can turn it on or turn it off. Same thing with your grids and your direction analysis, your elevation analysis, slope analysis or slope arrow analysis. All of these can be turned on and off and then chosen how you want to display them. Most of the time when you're dealing with your direction, elevation, slope, and slope arrow analyses, you want to have them set to zero because when you run the analysis, you're going to specify specific colors and those colors are forced through if you have it on layer zero. With your watersheds, this is how you're going to choose to have them displayed and then your watershed settings are how it's going to be displayed color-wise into Civil 3D. So moving on from there, we have our summaries tab, which goes through all of the different tabs and options available for the surface. So we're gonna go ahead and just leave everything as it was because this is a predefined uh, surface style and I don't wanna modify it. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay, and then okay again. 